Hey everybody, good morning. This is Special Agent Matthew Rudd with the Cumberland County Prosecutor's Office and I have Delia and Dawn who are recovery coaches here on Recovery on Wheels. Today we are at Vasquez and Diaz in Vineland and um, I wanted to introduce our coaches um, just so that you get to know them a little bit more and hear, hear from them and what they, uh, what they had to say about Recovery on Wheels. So Don, we'll start with you. Um, tell us, what, from your perspective, what is the best part of Roe? Well, I feel like the best part of Roe is the fact that, you know, so many people really don't have um, the resources and know how to go through certain, you know, go through that, um, the tapes of addiction and stuff. So I think Roe is really good because they will come in here, they will be able to get the help that they need, but they also have that advocate. You know, an advocate that can help guide them through the system, help them to get them to the right places, and to know that when they they come out, whether it's a detox or a treatment program, that there's always somebody there to help them. Yeah, kind of like help them navigate through the system. Yeah. Yeah. And navigate and, them into recovery, which is awesome. Yeah, and how is that different than what you've seen other places do, right? So part of what we're trying to do with Recovering Wheels is be innovative and meet people where they're at. Um, you know, what what is it about Recovering Wheels that's different than other places that you've seen? Well, I know just from experience that, you know, when, when people that I loved and we went into um, treatment centers, we really didn't get much information. Mm. So we... We had no um, after help, like there was nobody there to help. So it was, when you get help, you're out, right? So, and then we're we're stuck. We don't know what to do next. And and in in all fairness, most of the time they fail again. Mm. So for me, I just think that, you know, Roe is really important because we're out here, as we said, we're meeting people where they're at and we're, we're offering them that treatment but we're also offering them support. the support and guidance that they yeah. need when they come out that makes Correct. sense and yeah. for me meeting them where they're at means um that you don't have to be afraid to come out and talk to one of us when you see the robust bus stop and ask the questions that you need to ask it doesn't mean necessarily mean that you're going to t- send you away into treatment you're going to go away right. and you're not going to be with your family we'll meet you where you're at it's, the navigation means that we will navigate you into recovery we're going to meet you where you're at and help you mm. guide you through that road to get you where you need to be and on track um so for me meeting them where they're at means that if you're not ready to go into treatment and you just want the information one day you're going to be ready yes. and having that information when you are because we may not be available at that right. time That's good. you have it and you and you can reach out and call somebody for help when you do need it um and when you are ready so and then in the process of getting to that point from not being ready and being ready in that narrow window that you have we're there to support you through whether it be through meetings finding meetings for you or finding the resources that you need um you know look we go through life and life hits us with a lot of storms so there may be certain things that you may be going through that's preventing you from going into recovery Mm -hmm. such as homelessness uh, jobs um you know health wise and we're there to help you navigate through those systems also to get you the help that you need so that you are able to concentrate on your recovery. So for me, Roe is so important because we have all those avenues, we have all those resources available to help the community and help you and your family. Because we even have, you know, addiction is just not a disease um, for the person that's suffering through the addiction, it's a disease for the family also. And everyone suffers through it. So we have support for family also. We have um, resources to help the family um, get the counseling that they need and to help to understand. This morning we had a gentleman. Um, His daughter is in recovery and she is in MIT and medically assisted treatment. But she is also still using. So in explaining addiction to him, he understood that addiction, even though it's a disease of the brain, and the medically assisted treatment can help the cravings, but it doesn't stop the, the behaviors. You know, you need to understand that there's more to treatment than just um, getting uh, assisted treatment like medication. There's more to the brain than that. So you need coping skills and treatment continues on past that. So one without the other, it's kind of like you're failing in that part because you're not getting the help that you really need in, in changing your, your, your ways. 
Absolutely. So, that makes um, sense. Yeah, so it really sounds yeah. like Recovering Wheels has something for everyone, everyone. right? Correct. And that's, that's some of what um, I think is unique, is that mm -hmm. team approach to addressing the whole person um, in this setting. Um, as we're wrapping up, just tell me why, like, why do you do this? Like, what's your passion behind this? What, what, what drives you to, to help people um, in this kind of a setting? Oof. For me, I just find that we've lost too many. Mm. Um, we recently just lost somebody again. Actually, in my neighborhood, we lost three people in a week to this disease, and it's very powerful for me, and it means so much because I just see it as it's important to get the information out and to just save one life at a time Makes at sense. this point. Thanks, Don. And Good. for me, it means so much to me. Um, this is my my purpose in life is yeah. to help people and um, addiction has hit us like a whirlwind yes and it doesn't discriminate and I'm here I do it because I love people and, yes. and I love to help and um, it just it whether you're getting help now or later or mm -hmm. in any way that I can offer that help it just it gives me motive absolutely I love it. That makes sense. Well, That's thank it. you. Thank you for your passion, ladies. Um, I'm so thankful we're here until 2 p.m. today at Vasquez and Diaz. Come on out. Share this with your friends and family. Um, we're excited to uh, to do the work that uh, these ladies just described and, their, and, and with passion. Till next time.